Hello YouTube, this is my EDC Everyday Carry. Um, this is expanded to show all items, some are optional, some I carry every day, some can be interchanged, and some do go in my backpack that I carry every day. Sorry, that was a mouthful and there are a lot of items. We'll go through them as quickly as possible, one by one. This is my seal cock key. Small multi-tool plier, not a lot going on with it. It's a pain to open. It has a knife, file, screwdriver, can opener, typical stuff like that. This is an item I carry in my pocket every day. This is a Kershaw um, Free Fire. This is the, uh, I think this is what they call 13 MOV. This is a partially serrated, partially fine edge toolkit. It's a little worse for the wear. It serves me very well every day. I carry some form of multi tool to go with it for the pliers. This is a no name. I don't know the name of this one. But uh, software cutters work pretty good. It's got all the same basic tools, just a little bit larger. Does not have near the issues of the next tool I'm going to show you. Which is my SOG. Can't really see it there. Q3. This, I saw a few uh, reviews of them on YouTube. A few videos, and I thought I'd try one out myself. I... As with the theme of my channel, I got it at a discount. I hardly ever pay full price for anything. I'm good at finding deals. But this one's turned out to be less of a deal because every time you need to put it to work on the pliers or the cutter, it tends to slide up on its own like that. Very easily. So it's fallen into a second one. I'll probably put it in my uh, get home bag. Um, which I haven't done a video on yet. Then, this is also everyday carry. I do like this one. This is a Saw Q2. It's an LED flashlight. Pretty bright for one AAA. Um, One-handed opening. Very sharp. It's got a little uh, screwdriver bottle opener. And for some silly reason, a keychain hole. I find that one kind of funny. And among other things, this is an everyday item. This is actually a 78-inch tape measure uh, made in a Zippo housing. Uh, it's got some markings on it. Show it somewhere. But And then another one of my everyday pocket carry items is this little multi-survival tool. It's got a very good little compass on it. And I can keep a piece of fire tinder inside that. There it is. It's homemade, but it works pretty good. It's a mixture of wax, um, petroleum jelly, and uh, not petroleum jelly. It's, I forgot. It's been a while, but it, um, this end is a whistle and a um, scraper. And inside here is a fire steel. I'm trying to keep this quick, so I'm not going to open up the whole tool. I keep a whistle, a secondary one. This one rides in my uh, everyday backpack, just in case for emergencies. I also keep this. This is a Zippo fuel canister that keeps fuel for long periods of time. Extra flint there. Keychain, but I, this is a zipper item on my backpack. I keep this in my pack also. It's a couple extra flints. Three, I think, in there. This right here is a good item, especially if you end up hungry and low on energy or achy, tired. This is a headache relief from Walmart. It's acetaminophen, 250 milligrams, aspirin, 250, and 65 milligrams of caffeine. One of them goes quite a long ways. As well as I have different lights. This one is very optional. I keep it by my bed. 
It can go in my pack or in my pocket. It's a fairly bright little single LED, but it's missing one of its rubber weatherproof seals. For anyone interested in keeping at least some sort of hygiene item, I have this Walmart special so-called Swiss tool thing. It's a nail clipper or file and a fairly sharp little blade. Can can stay locked on your keychain or a large key ring, but um, the clippers are mediocre at best. It's something I have around. Um, sometimes I throw it in my backpack, sometimes I don't. I uh, keep this in my pack. This is a uh, unique, this is from Walmart also, but it works pretty good. It's a new take for me on the sharpening stone, having it split this way instead of down this way. But it works pretty good, especially at sharpening blades with uh, complicated curves. I also have this. This is a UV monitor, which I'm not too sure how much use I could get out of that, but I like the fact that it had a carabiner. It's rechargeable, USB, micro USB, and it has fairly decent little light on the back with several modes. We got bright, dim, red, red flashing. So I keep it attached to one of my backpack zippers also in case I need to make a signaling device and if I get lost or just to help a group keep track of me if they need if I need them to. And I have several of these. These are different ones. This one's my pocket carry since I misplaced my carabiner model. This is a fairly uh, neat little, um, I'm thinking this is 5,000 milliamp hour power bank. I have this, which is actually only about 2,400 milliamp hour, but it compensates that by having a magnetic ability to attach to things, as well as this Velcro strap, and it's also a light with a dimmable feature. There it goes. It's full dim. There's the magnets. You do need to have a USB cord with this one, I guess, like any of them. It's a uh, Parkside, I think, I forgot. It came from uh, Lidl, and I'm not being endorsed by any of these brands that I may or may not mention. Um, this is a Humvee uh, outdoor multi-tool. I've actually found this to be quite useful, so this stays in my pack. It has a rather sharp locking blade. Pretty stiff to open. Since I haven't used it that many times. Used it for different things. Try to keep this one for food purposes. If I need it. As always, it's got the corkscrew and um, actually with this one, that's it. It's got the corkscrew. Then it has the detachable fork and spoon. I don't need to take them off of there. I also have hand sanitizer, especially with this. COVID thing going on, but I carried it before this even happened anyway. I have different kinds. This is something my girlfriend got me. I have this little uh, pouch for my belt. I recently assembled this. This has uh, redundance, some redundancies in it, including this uh, Smith's tool sharpener. I mostly used a diamond rod to touch up edges. It does work great on serrations. Inside of it's another flashlight and the redundancy of having lights and fire the other end inside is a lighter and by no stretch of the imagination wind resistant but I call them uh, candle lighters I don't know what if they have a real name anyone calls them but it has a seal so it preserves fluid for quite a long time so I keep it around since I'm a smoker, it also comes in handy when I forget a lighter, which I seldom do. But And then there's a small plier multi-tool in here. It's actually pretty strong, a bit un uncomfortable, but the screwdrivers and plier work good. It's supposed to stay on the keychain, but it doesn't. And then small light, which is surprisingly able to work with only one of its batteries installed.
I mean, it's not very bright, but in a pinch, if you have no light at all, it'll help you out. I'm a little bit Asperger's OCD, whatever you want to call it, so I tend to want to put everything back, so please bear with me. This is probably one of my longer videos, but if you're watching, thank you. A, some form of lighter, always, for normal use. My keychain, this is also, of course, something that I always have on me. It's a link to paracord. I don't know how much, and I'm not going to try to take it apart to find out. Pretty strong clip. Not too sure of how many uses it could have, though, other than my belt loop. Used to have a little compass. It fell off. It's not a deal. Not a big deal. The whistle works pretty good. Um, other rods and ends. It's got a mini ferro rod inside. You all have probably seen these before in this striker. Um, and then here's my light duty pry bar, which I keep with it also. It's come in handy quite a few times. And of course, like everything else, it has a bottle opener. My wallet, which I've actually found surprisingly protective for what's inside of it. Just as a test, I have a uh, business card stuck in there. The edges have been frayed some, but other than that, this business card has been pretty well protected. Even though I've been completely soaked, it survived. There it is. Of course, my debit card. I don't mind y'all seeing it because all the information on this is on the back. So, uh, Two of these card multi-tools. I didn't even pay for these. A tenant moved out and I found them. Um, both are quite useful. This one's good when I forget to... And I leave... Uh, yeah, never mind. Um... I have several things, can opener, screwdriver, I'm not going to go on everything on these tools. People have seen them all, although this one's surprisingly thin. It's still very strong. This one has a sizable blade on it, and it's very sharp. I touched it up a little bit myself. I keep it for the possibilities of using it as a, maybe some form of hatchet strapped to, a, so if I could tie it to a, a stick or something. Or just to have an auxiliary blade, because it also has these razor-sharp um, serration-type things right here. Alright, and of course I have to put that back. I keep my ID in there too, but I'm obviously not going to put that on my video. And the last thing I carry every day, it's a little bit larger, but I'm financially challenged in the department of these expensive, small, rechargeable flashlights. I was able to pick this up, and I got it at a discount store for about two dollars. It's a uh, Walmart one that's uh, 800, 500, 300 rechargeable uh, super LED flashlight. Um, I keep it on me at all times, and uh, that's about it. Oh, I carry a knife on my hip at all times, although I'd hardly call that. Um, pocket EDC. This is it right here. It's just a uh, one of those uh, Camillus titanium and I've removed the rubber and added a paracord grip to it. Or what was left of the rubber. And that's about it. I also have a small um, get home bag and I also keep a uh, semi-preparedness state of mind so even my daily backpack um, will be on one of these videos it has a few more items in it but several of these stay in that backpack or are optional to it and if you're still watching and you made it to the end thank you for your patience and uh, uh, check out my other videos and tell me what you think thank you bye